your own understanding. Truth under Babylon's empiricism. What up? So, obviously, it's a lot going on. Um, I'm going to really quick explain why you have uh, protesters all over the place just destroying businesses. And it seems like that's the narrative every time there's a protest of, uh, of significant magnitude. Um, people destroy businesses and people ask why does everyone go after businesses, little mom and pop places or whatever has, you know, a storefront. They want to you know, vandalize it and just tear things down. There is a, a psychological aspect to the type of tyranny. Um, there are some things on a level that would explain why people do that where people are either ignorant to it or they've just never been educated or never built the concepts to be able to understand uh, the type of um, the type of mentality so basically um, people really don't understand that the reason why they go after businesses is because the way that you separate one man's strength from another man's strength without, you know, basically having a fist fight, fighting it out and say, okay, yeah, I'm stronger. The only way to separate people from one another is through business. And they know that in order for anyone to be able to be touched within the confines of business, they have to use business or somehow affect business in order to touch another person in order to touch the person behind whatever uh, is, is uh, adversely affecting them so they can't touch an individual who is causing them harm so they touch the businesses um, business is used as a icon of strength and control so when you fight back um, you fight the structures of strength and control because it's basically nature fighting the unnatural. So you are a natural person and you are fighting the unnatural process of business, which basically um, has to have, once again, a slave class. So therefore, um, the class of slaves lash out and attack the icon of their oppression, which is business. Um, people do not understand this because they have been born into a system uh, maintained by business. The agenda, the automated agenda, can only be carried out through a hypnotic process like business. No one wants to hear this. No one wants to face this. No one... No, I scratched that last statement. I was going to say no one wants to understand this, but people do understand it. The ones who actually, you know, obviously your handlers definitely understand this. The ones who are in the upper echelons of the system definitely understand this. And you have business business courses and you have ethics courses. Um, anyone understand the need for ethics course when you're taking business courses? Um, if you don't, then you should expand your concepts a little further. So... Bottom line, business is only to destroy nature and control the natural. i say it again. Business is only to control nature, hoard nature, and control the natural. For whatever agenda beyond the idealism, that's what the purpose is. So as long as you participate in business as such, you will always be oppressed and oppressing. Face it or not, this is the life you subscribe to, and this is the life that you will always have an oppressive kind of system over you. Because you want to learn not the laws, the natural laws that govern you. They're using them against you, and you don't even know it. 
So all of the, you know, Trayvon Martins, all of the ones who lost their lives due to the officials who are there to protect the businesses from you, the little guy, who basically fuels business, because without a little guy, there's no one to exploit or sell to, so there's no business. You have to understand this. There's no part of hoarding or controlling a resource and selling it through practices that resemble are influenced by witchcraft to hypnotically uh, convince you to exert your energy not to support your process of natural life but to support a system of oppressive business so you can be allowed to obtain icons of witchcraft to obtain a piece of fruit after all of your effort within your day and that's what controls our lives and that's why we're always constantly going to be having picket signs and, and we shall overcome and all this other crazy shit because you don't even know who you're fighting. You don't even know who the real enemy is. It's not the flesh and blood. You're not fighting flesh and blood. It's an idealism. It's an agenda. It's automation. And it's nonstop. So therefore, your protests will be nonstop. So the ones at the bottom who are fighting each other, out in the streets rallying over a particular cause... It's a particular cause, not the root issue. So if you stop for a moment and think what you're doing, you'll understand that what you're doing is futile. When you're, you're burning businesses down and you know attacking structures, which are symbols of the oppressive business that we all subscribe to, which is why I understand why they do it, even if they don't understand why they do it. But you're attacking business in the wrong realm, in the wrong dimension. You're, you're basically fighting pixels and the program is what you need to be fighting so please get it together because at this point all you're doing is satisfying the agenda because they already have contingencies in place to further control you if you get further out of control so take heed to understand and then see what you're actually doing um, you have the right the right motivation, the wrong practice. Destroy, I'm not advocating destroying businesses from the structure within. If you're going to destroy business for the purpose of reclaiming your natural freedom and right to be who you are, then you destroy the business from the inside out. 